Hey guys, today I got linked to a video by Sports Card Radio and I am mentioned on a lawsuit. In fact, they mention my name, my obvious real name, and the addresses my two businesses are located. One of them does patent law, as I'm going to read you what they said, and the other one is a marketing agency. Uh, we are in the same marketing field as Jeff Wilson. So it's interesting that they basically said that we are a small marketing agency operating from my home with a bunch of remote workers, which is true. I don't contest that, but that's like what smart marketing agencies do. Um, a lot of what Jeff is and his lawyers are saying, I would never hire a marketing agency like Jeff's because of the overhead. We can do a way better job, cheaper. And I'm just going to read you what they're saying. A prime example is your only human source for accusing the Wilson parties of fraud, incompetence, and malfeasance, particularly in connection with the second PPP loan, Mr. Gore, that's me. You hold Mr. Gore out as a digital marketing oracle who did a much more rational, much more calm, and more focused on Jeff's marketing company analysis of the situation who is in business that Jeff is in, in this marketing business. So December 6th, the video, you rely on Mr. Gore to contrast his digital ad business with free five two quarter to quarter decline in gross receipts to communicate that Jeff and free five two were either personally incompetent or engaged in PPP loan fraud by cooking the books to get a second loan. So when I look at Jeff's company, it is a marketing company. That's what I said that if you are in digital marketing, if you read, I think he's in digital ads or digital goods or something like that. At best, your reliance on Mr. Gore was a reckless apples to oranges comparison, which you either knew or should have known based on rely readily available online sources. Uh, Mr. Gore's two businesses are not engaged in the same business as Free52. I would argue that one of them is. We are a marketing company and whether or not you make marketing sales in person or online, we do events too. We do event marketing. We do anything. It's actually on the website that we do event marketing and there's multiple blogs about it. Free52 on the other hand is a technology marketing consulting agency. So we are a marketing consulting agent. RunRex is a marketing consulting agency. Yes, they may not focus on SEO, but we do everything. Like, as a marketing agency, you do whatever your client wants you to do to help their sales. So they depend on in-person conferences. Um, and then now they're like making a ludicrous point, right? They're trying to say that, oh, well, there's we got buildings and all. <laughs> this is why. And they're using LinkedIn as a source of information so yes, I do run, I currently run my home from my house because it's cheaper. We don't have to worry about leases and that was a business decision. So I don't know why they would criticize that and even compare, you know, I, again, not sure what they're trying to, what he's even trying to say here that if you're a marketing agency and most of the talented workforce is maybe not in locally to you and COVID-19 you had to evolve to remote workers, then yes, you will have workers in New York state. You will have workers in California. That's just how the business operates, how a smart business would operate. So gutterless, which isn't the business I'm talking about is a, yeah, it's a patent attorney. It's me doing patents. So, Run Rex, and then they also say I didn't take any PPP loans, which might be true. I got a hunt a thousand dollars from the government somehow. I'm not sure what type, if it was an EIDL, I, I don't know what it was, but I do remember because the government very early on gave me a thousand dollars. So maybe I didn't take out any PPP loans. It's quite possible I didn't. I was offered, I was offered a lot of money. I think it was 248, 249, something like over $200,000 per company. And I didn't take it. So I, I'm not sure why that. And then they said they have very little in common with me. 
I, arg I would argue that they have everything in common with me. They're a marketing agency. They're a marketing consulting agency. Gutless is a consulting agency. Do we consult on legal matters, on patent-related matters? Yes. Do we consult on marketing-related matters? Yes. People have paid me to talk about marketing on Gutless, a consulting agency. So this is just uh, bullying and sports car radio. I I'm, I'm glad that you know he's standing up to it. I haven't received this document yet. Um, I think this document was received on the 22nd via email. I'm sure mine is in the mail because they cite both my addresses. Uh, and yeah, I work from home. Like my business has a home address. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, plenty of people work from home, especially given the pandemic. Commercial office space isn't something that is too intelligent to... Uh, uh, if Jeff Wilson and Sports Card Investor, if I get that letter, I will share the letter. I will make a video about the letter. I'll make it very public. I don't have any malice to Sports Card Investor at all. I think it's interesting. I, I, again, I didn't even realize he was in a marketing consulting agency, which I believe I am as well. In fact, if you look at the definition, I'm pretty sure we have the same code. Um, the code that identifies what type of business you're in. I don't know what Jeff's code is, but mine is in marketing consulting. So anyway, I will make a longer video about this on my other channel. This is what Jeff uh, from Sports Card Investor wants to do. And I'm not going to have any of it. He's going to... On the 22nd or on the 23rd, he's going to hit you with a potential lawsuit to try to ruin your Christmas and your holidays. This is the, the human being Jeff Wilson is. And I don't think he understands that, yeah, I am going to fight back on this. He is a public figure, so they have to prove malice. Go ahead, prove it. The reason that the PPP loans are public is the government made them public for public discussion. If... They were like any other loan that you get from any other bank. It would be a private situation. It would be a private matter. It's not. So if they want, if this law firm wants to test that out, I would be happy to be a participant in that lawsuit. I would represent myself. So no cost. Jeff's got to pay these lawyers. I would represent myself. And I think I would win. I have a very strong case because the PPP loans... They are public. They're available. And unless you're going to sue every database, including the federal government's database, the reason that these loans are public is for public discussion. Otherwise, like any other loan, it would be private and it wouldn't be made public. And this wouldn't even be nobody could look it up legally. There are multiple websites that publish how much PPP loans people took. If their argument is, oh, you said you took $1,000 in loans, but really, we couldn't find any loans on you. You didn't take any loans. If that is the basis of their argument, man, I would love to see them in court. 